Hi Libra, welcome to your June full moon in Sagittarius love tarot reading. This is Mary and this is Sunlight Insight Tarot. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome, welcome and thank you. So Libra, let's see how this full moon in Sagittarius energy will affect your love situation no matter what it may be. Sagittarius is the ruler of Jupiter, which is a lot growth expansion. It's also the um, temperance in the tarot, which is about healing, balance, uh, patient energy. Also, the Wheel of Fortune, was, about, which is about that luck, abundance, and the positive movement forward. So it could be exciting new times, new energy coming in, feeling hopeful and optimistic, things moving forward. So let's see Libra. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, male or female, a general collective reading. Please only take what resonates for you, including the signs mentioned. You definitely can flip, switch, reverse energies anytime you feel the need to, especially cross-watchers. So let's see. We have Our Lady of Peaceful Change. We have 12, which is 3, which can be about growth expansion. And we have Our Lady of Ripening on the Vine. And we have 4, so we have 3, 4, which is progression. Four is a very stable grounded energy as well so something is growing here and expanding with ripening on the vine and it could be some sort of uh, peaceful change coming in here wanting to grow and expand a connection perhaps all right let's see where this is going libra all right everything you need to know is down below you could check that out if you would like to your playlist are down there you can still check out your june readings if you would like to and if you are new here, I do, right now I'm doing eight readings a month to a week. Things may change, not sure, but you can go to the community tab, all the explanations, explanations that you need are down there, over there, so you can check that out. All right. All right, so I think they're ready here. Libra, let's see what we need to know for you. For Libra. Wait a minute, we'll take this one. The Divine Mother and the Goddess of Light. So we have unconditional love exists within me. The presence of love is the absence of judgment. We have we are all sacred mirrors reflecting back the same light. So definitely mirroring image here. Um, there is an unconditional love mirroring back that same light. And releasing judgment here so there may be a change in the wind here for you um libra all right let's see what else we need to know for libra libra i also do have a twin flame channel link is below if you'd like to check it out i was doing the zodiacs um about once a month but finding it hard to keep up the schedule as i do work a full-time job and with the two channels as well so I may be focusing more on collectives over on that channel when I have a chance to post something. But if you would like to uh, check it out, you can. Link is below. All right, Libra. Let's see what we need to know for oops, Libra. Full moon. Physical activity. Hmm, 6713, which is four. And financial discipline, 84, which is 12, which is 3. Now, I see this pink as kind of like new love energy. So it could be, you know, um, where maybe something was just purely physical at one time. Could be now grounding down here into really focusing on the love aspect here. So we have 48, which is 12, which is 3, that growth expansion. We have 13, 4. So we have the 3, 4 coming out again. Hmm. Interesting. Could have been something about finances that maybe affected this connection at one point too. Could be also with the physical activity. Maybe somebody here traveled a lot or there was physical separation as well. All right. So let's see here. But there's some sort of change coming in. And this change, I feel like, may enable this connection to uh, deepen. All right. Libra. Now, if you're not connected to anyone or you're like, well, it's someone from the past I don't want that may not be your reading, I just have to put that out there. All right, Libra. 
What do we have for Libra? Full Moon and Sagittarius. Love Tarot reading for Libra. Six of Cups. Mm, someone definitely returning here from the past. So if you don't want a past person, it's probably not your reading. Two of Pentacles is a lot of could have been a lot of procrastinating or back and forth or pros cons should i shouldn't i ace of swords here divine clarity from source successful new beginning starts with honest communication and queen of pentacles energy which could be capricorn this could be about solidifying and i kind of felt that because the uh, pentacles do represent you know money finances you know that kind of energy in the tarot so when the finances show up showed up here in discipline i'm feeling like somebody wants to ground this down now was somebody you know, down somebody made if i can't even speak might have been on the fence before but i do see a return here and we have the queen of cups two queens four queens would make the empress nine of pentacles so somebody definitely is single i'm not really feeling like there's a third party here but judgment final release and we have the judgment um this card over here says absence of judgment hmm. all right we have the chariot positive movement forward knight of swords that's very quick two very quick energies here happening very fast two of swords i feel like somebody was indecisive but releasing judgment here making a final judgment call doing a full review here definitely somebody is single so I do see, uh, let's see now, I see Capricorn, Cancer, Scorpio, Cancer again, Aquarius. I feel like somebody here is making two twos about making a decision. That's what I feel. Judgment call, especially with the judgment call here. Truth, clarity, Knight of Swords, carrying that Ace of Swords and coming in hot and quick. About the love connection here as well. Definitely, if somebody was indecisive before. I definitely feel like now they want to kind of come in and solidify this connection now i feel with this queen of pentacles energy hmm. all right so let's see what else we need to know for you libra and you know this could be your energy libra with the knight of swords it doesn't have to be you could be the one Making moves quickly. We do have the world energy here. Could be traveling or distance. Aquarius, Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio. Eight of Cups. Somebody's been heavily thinking about this. Again, there could have been traveling or distance or somebody turned their back for a minute here. Temperance, bringing soulmates together here. Somebody was on the fence or turned their back just for a minute. I think temperance here is about soulmates coming together. Sagittarius energy. You know, that is about divine alchemy, peace, harmony, balance, patience, healing, maybe even past lives together. Knight of Pentacles. So it's been taking a while here. Taurus energy. And death, Scorpio energy. So I definitely feel like here, somebody's ready to, it's been taking a long time. Somebody knows that. It's time to transform the energy here. I think temperance has been, angels kind of been working with this person as well. To kind of, you know, see, I could kind of see them turning around, coming back, because we do have the Six of Cups here. Especially with the world. Maybe they had to travel. Maybe there's distance. That's about old cycles ending, new cycles starting. Death here can be about transformation, transitioning into the new. Been a long time coming here with the Knight of Pentacles. So let's see what else we need to know for Libra. Page of Pentacles. So that's a solid offer here. More Capricorn energy. For, you know, a drink, a date, let's just meet up. Can we talk about the whole connection here as well? Six of Swords. Again, something about traveling or distance. 
but it's about moving into calmer waters as well. In the Ten of Wands, heavy burden. Somebody could be carrying a heavy burden that they want to get off their shoulders in order to move this forward. Hmm. It could be somebody had a lot of responsibilities as well that was affecting the connection because I did kind of sense and feel that as well with the finances and the physical activity, like maybe someone had to travel wor for work um, as well. And it was a really, you know, heavy damper on the connection. Could have caused a little bit of a separation or a disconnect between the two of you, if that resonates for you. All right. What else here for Libra? Seven of Swords. Again, I kind of see someone turning their back and could be avoidance or running out of fear. But, I mean, we do have the Ten of Pentacles here. Total wealth, abundance, prosperity for the long term, possibly. Hmm, that could be marriage or commitment. Maybe somebody choosing a path here with the Two of Wands. All right, what else do we have here for... Let's clarify just a little bit more for Libra. What else do we need to know? Nine of Swords. Yeah, somebody's stressed out about this whole situation. Queen of Swords. There you are, Libra. Could be you, could be them, or they're definitely stressed out about you and the commitment that was at hand. Three of Swords. Yeah, there's been some disappointment, heartache, and pain. Devil. I mean, this could be fear, stress, worry, anxiety, negative thinking, low self-esteem, addictions, obsessions, blah, 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 third party. I mean, we do have the Three of Swords here. Third party can be anything. You know, it can be work. It can be meddling people, anything other than the two of you, something else influencing over the connection, whatever that may be. King of Wands, Leo energy. That is a fiery energy here. Hmm. So why is that here? Could have been dealing. They could have had someone around them. Uh, maybe it was a boss. It was very conflicting, demanded a lot of their time and energy for uh, work. Moon. If they were working a lot, I almost feel like you thought they were hiding something. Pisces energy here with the moon. This king, I mean, it's Leo for me, but it could be a representative of the full moon in Sagittarius energy here. Page of Swords, Aquarius energy. Definitely about communication. So I definitely think honest communication needs to be had about commitment in the soulmate union. You know, whatever factors were affecting this, Honest, honesty will bring in success here and a new leap of faith, restarting, maybe starting over, fresh and new, breathing new energy into the connection as well. Aquarius energy. Now we have the king of pentacles. So, I mean, we have two kings and two queens, kind of like halfway to the empress and halfway to the emperor. That's a Virgo for me. Ten of cups, total happiness, joy, and fulfillment. Well, they just the Empress, Libra, Taurus, birthing of new energy. Again, two of wands, choosing that path. So I kind of feel like um, I do see this peaceful change. So whatever this change is, maybe somebody here is eliminating some sort of um, conflict or something that was intruding in their life that was affecting the connection. Making that change, which brings that peace into the connection. And now this connection can deepen. It's kind of what I feel here. So I feel like if there was, like I said, a disconnect or a separation due to other circumstances, uh, that will be, I feel that will be um, alleviated in some way. All right. So let's see, we do have Pisces here with the moon. I mean, that could be fear, illusion, fear of the unknown, fear of the path ahead, what's going to happen here. get you some advice and guidance Libra what else does Libra need to know so we have inner strength this is like Leo energy with strength move back to wholeness recognize that you have the power so a very strong connection here that cannot be denied and there's the moon energy phases and cycles there is a beginning within every ending illusions are revealed and released yeah that's kind of what I feel here with the moon energy and it could have been uh, false pretenses it could have been assumptions 
All right. What else here for Libra? Light activation. Shine your light. Your internal guidance is coming through loud and clear. So definitely everything coming to light where we couldn't see with the moon energy. And forgiveness, you are on the right path of light, love, and forgiveness. Father healing is possible at this time. Somebody could be a father, however that resonates. And we have experiencing grace. Share your gifts with grace. Waves of inspiration and love are coming to you. So, you know, we're about to bring some grace, gratitude, healing, forgiveness, whatever needs to happen here, back into the connection so we can strengthen it. Now, if you're saying, oh, no, I don't want that, that's probably not your reading. So, you know, take this how it resonates for you. Okay, Libra, that's what I have for you. So I hope that helped resonate. Again, thank you so much for being here. It's truly, truly appreciated. Everything that you do need to know is down below. Your playlist is down there. You can still check out some of your June readings and the Twin Flame channel as well. So wishing you the best, Libra, and I shall see you next time.